you doing? Good, yourself? I am pretty good. Roger. I'm Ben. Nice to meet I'm, you. Uh, I'm a photographer and I'm sort of interested in flying my camera around in the air, which I hear okay. is a thing now. Yes, it is. So let me show you a few drones. You ever flown a drone before? Uh, I crashed a drone before. Okay. That's yeah, a good start. so that's we a all do. good, yeah. You learn from failure. Right. You know, I don't want to spend too much more right. than more than uh, if if I had my my normal camera and I could throw it in the air. Right. So But 4K is important. Yeah. Okay. So this is the DJI Phantom 3. So it's got a 4K camera, 12 megapixel for stills. Um, you get about 17 to 18 minutes of flight time. After this, they came out with the DJI Phantom 4. This can fly up to 30 feet indoors. The other thing that's very, very important these days uh, is the sense and avoid technology. Okay. These two little cameras in the front. It makes the drone safer. It starts seeing you at about 50 feet, up to about six to four feet. So how close can you get stop. to someone? All right there. Okay. Uh, this is another great drone, uh, a little more for the prosumer. Okay. 4K camera, 12 megapixels. It's fantastic. You see these are on a lot of shoots, high wind conditions, cold conditions. This is truly a professional drone. A lot of us now are trying to like go with smaller gear. We exactly. want to be able to travel exactly. and get into different places. So, you know, is there anything that's smaller, that's more compact? Uh, that can still make great images. Is, is, is this one? Oh, is, is, wow. So yeah, so this is the new DJI Mavic Pro. Amazing drone, 12 megapixel stills, 4K video. Super small, fold it up, put it inside your jacket. It's a great drone for a hobbyist. It's something that most photographers are gonna have in their bag. Is this the iPhone of drones? I would say so. It's like kind of drones. putting that iPhone camera up in the air. You know, it's kind of interesting, the concepts of aerial composition, like, and when you go up, you get no negative space because you're looking down on the ground. And it actually provides you a whole new way of thinking about composing or about, you know, what is your rule of thirds when you're, you know, shooting from above looking down? Um, how do you present the world compositionally when all of a sudden it's becoming much more flat um, and, and your perspective has totally changed for what you've trained for?